Today we got two Echo Weed Eaters to look at. One was brought in thinking that it was raining on straight gas, and the other was brought in saying it doesn't run. It runs, but it idles, but it will not run on high RPMs. So today we're gonna look at two of these Weed Eaters right here, and we're gonna figure out what's wrong with them. Let's take a look. So this one right here is a uh, Echo, and it is a PAS. 225. This is the one that supposedly had been ran on straight gas. We'll run a compression check on it and find out real fast. And this is the Echo SMR 225, which is the one that runs but doesn't come up on RPMs. And uh, the difference is uh, uh, the other one has a split shaft for accessories, like little tillers and things like that. And this one doesn't have the split shaft. All right. Well, let's put this guy up on the rack. Let's run a compression test and let's see what our trouble is. All right, so this is the one that was burned up, the one that was ran without oil. Um, you can feel it. It has very low compression. I can feel it has the uh, drag, the pistons dragging the cylinder. Let's pop the plug. Let's see what it looks like real quick. This will tell us a lot right here. Okay. Oh yeah, I can tell you by the plug, it is uh, it's tan, tan, tan on the tip. And this thing got hot. It got really hot. That's yeah, not a good sign. Oh, I can feel it. It's rough, rough, rough. So let's go ahead and do our compression tool. Let's see what it looks like. I suspect it's gonna be very low. It's fun the feel of it. Let's give it a couple pulls. We'll hold it wide open. Now, mind you, this thing's cold. It can't be hot because it won't run. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Jeez. It is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's only... Well, it moved, but it was only 30 pounds compression. Let me try it one more time. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's, again, we're only looking at 30 pounds of compression. So this power head, it's done. I'm gonna call the owner and let them know that, uh, you know, being that this thing was ran without oil and the gas, it cost you a nice weed eater. So we're not gonna do anything to this thing any further. There's no reason to with the engine burn up. And, uh, We'll just give it back to the owner and let them decide what they want to do with it. All right, guys, so we know this one's not going to run. We're going to go ahead and get the other one that does run. They say it idles, but when they squeeze the throttle, it bogs out and won't come up on our higher RPM. Let's swap them out. Let's get to start on the other one. Let's get it fixed. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the shop. Today, we're working on an Echo Weed Eater. It is an Echo SRM225. Customer brought it to me saying it won't run. After looking at things, I'll show you what I found and I'll show you why it won't run. I did a compression test check on it. First thing I always do before I work on these silly things. And it shows a good compression at 120 pounds. And that's cold. So I believe the cylinder wall and piston is okay. It's a newer model. Like I said, it's this brand here, Echo SMR225. The thing is, what I found was on the exhaust, on the muffler side right here, there is a screen spark arrestor that goes in here and it goes behind your exhaust deflector that I just dropped. Anyhow, so this screen, if you look, it is, it is plugged up. You see the square where it's real dark? That is carbon buildup, and that is why this uh, weed eater will not run. It'll crank and idle, but it will not come up on RPMs because the exhaust is restricted so bad. So I'm gonna take some cleaner here, and we're gonna try to clean it out. Just a little bit of cleaner. Let it soak on it a little bit. Try to wipe it off. It may take a little while to get this out. Yeah, see, it's really restricted pretty bad. It's really plugged up. 
may have to uh, take a uh, scotch brite pad and uh, clean it with that. Let me grab a scotch brite and let me wipe it off of that and see if we can get this thing to unplug. Okay, well, after cleaning the screen, you can see it's almost translucent. You can see through it now. And I scrubbed it with this. It's like a 3M scotch brite pad. Got all the old carbon buildup out of it. That was restricting the exhaust flow, causing this thing not to run on top of RPM. No, the way this happens is too much idling or your air, your uh, fuel mixtures too thick at all. So that could be some causes that cause that to uh, get restricted. I know most of you would probably take it out and throw it in the trash, but in my shop, we can't, uh, we can't do that. We're a paid shop, so we have to put it back like it is. All right, let's put it back together and let's see how it runs. All right, now we've got the flame exhaust restrictor fixed. It's all cleaned out. This thing can breathe now. It'll come up in our Runs perfect, just like it should now. And all that was was that exhaust screen was plugged up. Don't let that fool you think that these things are uh, no longer any good. Always check your compression first, and if it's good, if it's not below 70, start looking around. Could be other things going on. This was a real easy fix. Till next time, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.